I want to improve my abilities. I'm like this forever. I will never change. Good. Now you can use your abilities better. I will never change. It can't go on like this forever. Tell me that is all. How are things? What do you want from me, weenie? How's it going? That's none of your business, weakling. I am strong enough. Nonsense. You couldn't even lift a decent sword like mine. I said I am strong enough. Oh, you're killing me. Want to risk a little bet? I bet I can handle your sword. Really? Hmm. How much should I relieve you of? Well, you look like a poor sucker. Let's make it 30 gold pieces. Do you even have that much? Sure. Let me see then. Here. All right, let's see how strong you are. About this strong. Looks like you got me there. I never expected that. You really don't look like you have that much strength in you. Well, I guess I just lost 30 gold pieces. Here you are. Now give me back my weapon. I think not. What was that? I think I'm going to keep it a little longer. Just you wait, you bastard. Put down that weapon! Nothing to be had there. Nothing there. Nobody will learn anything from me. All right, you win. What do you want? Here's your sword back. High time, too. How's it going? I'm curious to see whether they'll let you join. There's more, believe me. Nobody wants to know. All 
kind of mad as a stone for what I thought about him, so I'm telling you that. What are you doing here in my kitchen? Something smells delicious here. Oh, yes. I know the likes of you. They're swarming all over the place. First, they try to get on your good side, and then when you need them, they're nowhere to be seen. I'm hungry. I don't dish out food to tramps. I only feed people who work. And that mercenary riffraff, of course. I'm staying out of it. I'm looking for work. You want to work here on the farm? Only Onar can decide that. The farm is his, and so is the entire valley. Do you really think? I need a place to sleep. Don't even There's think about sleeping in my kitchen. Go find yourself a place in the you barn. Don't ask me that. I used to say that myself. Anything's possible. He thinks it's as easy as that. That's nothing new. He really should have known better. As if I didn't have enough for him. Anything's bang out. You listen to the wrong people. You have to feel That's sorry the for the poor guy. Do you really believe really really that? You just have to listen. Differently. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? It's possible. I was in the colony too. Right. What do you want? How's the situation? Right now, we've got real trouble. Two factions are building up amongst us mercenaries. Silvio and his people doubt that Lee is following the right plan. Let's wait and see what happens. That will never change. Hello, I'm new here. Don't take this the wrong way, but I'm not really in the mood for conversation. I'm totally wrecked. You're awfully busy, huh? You can say that again. Bennett makes so many weapons that I can hardly keep up with the polishing. Can I buy weapons from you? I don't have much. We take almost all the swords and axes into Onar's house. Hey, you! I do not sell any weapons. Khaled does. He's in the house with Onar. I'm not telling you anything new. I've gone about it differently. I wouldn't be so sure. But he knew that all along. Do you really believe that? I'm no better off myself. I used to say that myself. Doing all right? Hey, I know you. From the colony. What do you want here? I never knew that. Nothing amazes me anymore. I hardly know what to do for a can you teach me anything? I can teach you a few tricks in handling a bow if you want. I don't have anything better to do right now anyway. Is it really true? Do you have anything to sell? Oh, don't ask. Bennett, one of the new guys, takes care of the weapons and armor now. In the colony, I was responsible for Lee's entire weapons store. And then along came a trained smith and pow, I'm out of a job. I desperately need a new job, even if all I do is guard the farms out there. I don't care, just as long as I'm not twiddling my thumbs here anymore. I got no time for things like that. And? Found a new task yet? Not so far. Let me know if you have a job for me. Don't have to tell me that. Have you tried finding a job in town? In the city? <laughs> Wild horses couldn't drag me there. Where do you think I would want to work there as a militia soldier? I could just imagine myself in the courtier's uniform, and then that obsession with obedience. Nah, forget it. There may not be anything to do here on the farm, but at least I can do what I want. That's all. Just anything you tell me. Hello, pretty girl. Hmm. Just where did you escape from? If he doesn't see that, is it really true? That was no big deal. Has anything significant happened lately? A few days ago, my father decreed that we're no longer allowed to sell anything in town. So now I'm staying here on the farm and selling my wares to visitors only. Do you really believe that? 
never thought of that. What kind of work is to be had here on the farm? My father pays money to all the men who help defend the farm. Are you interested? You don't look like someone who has a passion for field labor. How much does your father pay? You'd have to negotiate that with him. All I know is that each mercenary here gets paid every day. What's your job here? I sell the goods that we produce. If you want to buy something, just let me know. But let me warn you, I won't stand for either haggling or stealing, understood? Show me your wares. What can I offer you? Nobody will learn anything from me. I've got no time for things like that. Are there any rules here that I should stick to? You don't touch anything here that isn't yours. You stay away from the areas that are none of your business. And if you must pick a fight, stick to the mercenaries. If you start a brawl with the farmers, everybody here will be against you. What's up? Uh, since Onar announced he was hiring mercenaries, the court's been overflowing with nothing but rogues. All the rabble who didn't have the guts to come out of the woods before are here now. The bastards really came from everywhere. Is that really true? The mercenaries came from everywhere? Most of them came from the penal colony. Another group of mercenaries came from the south, where they were probably hunting orcs. I bet that a few of the bandits from the mountains have shown up as well by now to get a free meal, huh? I've got my own opinion about that. Hey. Here's the food you wanted. Fantastic. And now? Teach me how to hunt. What do you want to learn? Take off the shadow beast horn, brace yourself against the skull with all your might, pulling on the horn, and cutting the thing out with a hard blade. Teach me how to hunt. What do you want to learn? The mandibles of a mine crawler or field raider have to be removed with a very strong metal lever. They are lodged very deeply in the animal's skull. Teach me how to hunt. What do you want? You remove the heart of the animal with a death cut in the chest. But it's usually only worth it with special animals or magical beings. Hey, you! What are you doing here? I'm preparing for battle. Why? Lately, the farmers have had more and more problems with field raiders. A few of them even managed to get themselves eaten. Fat Onar didn't exactly find that amusing. None of us got our pay for a week, and it was more or less my fault. Now Lee wants me to wipe out the creature's nest by myself. And the other boys have already made bets on whether I'll survive. Are you a good fighter? I'm fair with a sword. But with a bow, I'm very good. Why do you ask? Where's the nest? In the middle of the field here, in the big rock. 
We could attack that nest together. You want to help me? Why? I want to see some gold. <laughs> you bastard. You want to take advantage of my situation, huh? Either I pay you, or I bite the dust. All right, I can pay you 50 gold pieces. That's all I got. Let's attack the nest. Right now? Or do you need to equip yourself first? You could go back to the farm first. There's no time like the present. Good. Then let's see what you got. One less monster around. One less monster around. One less monster around. So, this is where they drag the dead farmers. Disgusting. The filthy things should all be wiped out now. Let's go back. Nothing there. Wait a minute. What about our agreement? Hey, you wanted to take advantage of my situation. Now I'm taking a bit of advantage of you. But look at the bright side. You had a learning experience. That's something, isn't it? I think your hide could do with another tanning. I don't like having my leg pulled. Don't make me cry. How are things? So-so. Those mercenaries aren't much help, really. I had expected them to have a little more guts, at least. But they're just a bunch of braggarts and loudmouths, if you ask me. So what about those things I buried? Have you found them yet? I found your buried things. Then you should be carrying about a hundred gold coins, a golden chalice, a silver dish, and an amulet. And they're all mine. Give them here. Here's your stuff. A bag with 100 gold coins, a golden chalice, a silver dish, and an amulet. Very good. You're lucky that you weren't dumb enough to simply take the stuff and run. Here's your share of the booty. What was your business with the mercenaries? I already told you I'm looking for this fellow in red armor. But the idiots here have no idea what I'm talking about. I take it you're looking for someone named Dexter? Damn it, how would I know the fellow's name? 
I know where you can find him. Really? Tell me. Not far from here. He seems to be the leader of an evil gang of bandits. Ha! <laughs> yup, that's him. I knew the old landlubber'd hold up here somewhere. Now, all I need to do is scour all the hideouts and rat holes around here. I'll find that bastard. Don't need your help for that. Hello, beautiful maid. Stop trying to sweet-talk me, boy. And tell me what you want. I'm busy. How's the field work coming? Look at these huge fields we have to work. And you know how we're doing. Are you looking for farm work? Maybe. In that case, you should go and see our farmer Sekob, the old slave driver. Maybe he's got something for you. Of course. You could also try Owner's Farm at the end of the long road. But beware of the mercenaries. They don't take to strangers. How's it going? You're not one of us, huh? I'd get out of here if I were you. Why? This wasn't a paradise before, but at least we were left in peace as long as we did our work for Sekob. But lately it's become unbearable. Bandits are everywhere, field raiders destroy the entire harvest, and the landowner is getting to be pretty brutal. Are you afraid of the landowner then? You bet. If the landowner doesn't like people's faces, he sends his mercenaries after him, and that's the last you see of them. So we prefer to keep our mouths closed. Shouldn't the mercenaries take care of the field raiders? I don't know what they're being paid for, but certainly not to help us common people. The field raider problem is left to the small farmers who rent the fields from him. How do you protect yourselves against the bandits? We don't. We run away. What else? 
Keep your chin up. That's not so easy if you're working for Sekob, the slave driver. How are things? Ah, a new face here on the farm. Has the old skin flint finally granted me an apprentice? I'm not an apprentice. Oh, I see. I'm not as young as I used to be, you know, and uh, I've been waiting for a replacement for years. You aren't here because the neighbors are annoyed, are you? Have you seen any bandits passing through here? I certainly have. They passed along the edge of the field near Sekob's farm and entered the forest to the north. If my eyes didn't deceive me, they were also dragging a young woman along to the forest. I really hope they left her alone. Well, I'm just glad they stayed away from our farm. What's the work you do here? Oh, I guard the sheep, and uh, I've been doing that for as long as I can remember. The animals are very loyal and uh, very smart, you see. If you treat them well, they'll follow you for a lifetime. What's the trouble with your neighbors? The grass on this side of the big field is always so stunted and dry, so I mostly go to the big pastures of the other farmers. Oh, the landowner doesn't mind, but Bengar, the farmer on the high pastures, always makes a big deal out of it when I take the animals up there. He says Sekob should pay if I take his animals on to Bengar's pasture, but Sekob won't spend a measly coin for that, so I can't go up onto the plateau anymore. Maybe I should talk to Bengar. You do that for me? What will you tell him? I mean, I don't want any trouble, you hear? We'll see about that. Everything else all right? Oh, I can't complain. Thanks for asking. Well, kiddo? That's no way for a farmhand to talk to me. Just how often do I have to remind you? Are you in charge here? No, I'm only Sekub's son. But once my old man is no longer with us, then all the land you can see here will belong to me. Amazing. Is that how you always treat your field workers? Of course, they need that. Whoever doesn't toe the line here gets thrashed. That's the way it goes. So what do you do when you're not busy playing ruler of the farm? Stand guard. The filthy militiamen from the city are coming onto our land more and more often and stealing everything they can get their hands on. Only last week the bastards were here, and they took some of our sheep. If I could get my hands on one of them, I'd make short work of him. But of course. Why don't the mercenaries help you against the militia? Before they even turn up, I've already driven them off. I need to talk to your father. He hasn't got time, but I'm his deputy. What can I help you with? By introducing me to your father. You're a real tough guy and a good fighter, huh? The best. I think maybe I'd better get him then. Never mind, boy. I'll find him, I'm sure. If you say so. Has anyone blown your nose for you today? Leave me alone, you idiot. Has anyone blown your nose for you today? Leave me alone, you idiot. Hey. Everything all right with you? Well, it's so-so. My back hurts from all this hard labor. What are you doing here? I don't get visitors here all that often. Usually, it's either some cutthroats from the mountains or those horrible malicious soldiers from the city. They've been raiding our farm rather frequently lately, but you don't look like you're one of them, or are you? What are you doing here? I've been asking myself that for several years. Sekub, my husband, has fallen out with everyone in the area by now. He's in debt everywhere, and so he steals goods from Onar's stocks and sells them in town. 
By now, he's accumulated a fortune with his underhanded dealings, and he works our field hands until their backs break. His own people call him nothing but slave driver these days. I'm not particularly proud to call myself the wife of Sekob. Believe me, sometimes I wish the barrier were still in place. Would you like to buy something to eat? Or perhaps something for hunting in the forest? What can you offer me? What do you want? Barrier? Well, it's the dome that used to enclose the old Valley of Mines. Many of the farmers and workers who committed a crime back then were simply tossed in there, and they never came back. Why did the militia attack you on your farms here? Because there's nobody there to prevent them from simply plundering our farms instead of buying our goods. The king is far away, and we just have to put up with working for Onar and hoping that Onar will send help when we really need it. What does Onar's help look like? Sometimes we receive warning in advance when some militiamen are planning to pay us a visit on their own account to rob us. Then we send somebody to the old landowner to ask him for help. And then usually, it doesn't take long for the mercenaries he pays to come here and chase off the militia. But when all is said and done, the mercenaries aren't much better. Have you ever been at the barrier? No, we only heard about it. Bengar, the farmer on the high pastures, can surely tell you more about that. His farm is quite close to the pass, which leads to the Valley of Mines. Keep your chin up. Take care of yourself and don't let them get to you. What are you doing on my land? There's nothing here to steal. Clear off! Isn't there a piece of land in this blasted country that doesn't belong to anyone? Go to work. Then maybe someday you can call a piece of land your own. But until then, kindly loaf around somewhere else. Listen. I don't have any work for you at the moment. Now go. 